Hello friends, I welcome you all to Nandip Academy for UPSC and MPSC. In today's session, we are going to analyze the Hindu editorial dated December 24th, 2020. Let's begin. The first article that we would be discussing and analyzing is called Vocal for Local. And this is an article that concentrates on the District Development Council polls that recently were held in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. It is an article that focuses on how the PAGD, that is People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration, have fared in this elections vis-a-vis -vis the BJP and also some independent winners. So that is all that we would be seeing in this article. And uh, we also are going to see what is the future of this Union Territory. Let's begin with the first slide, which is uh, the vocabulary. So in this session, we would be discussing important words. The first is revocation, which is a noun. It means the official cancellation of something. The second word is rigged, which means it, which is a verb, and it means to manipulate or something has been manipulated or done wrongly. Let's move on to the next slide. So let's talk about the elections in Jammu and Kashmir. So these are the first district development council polls in Jammu and Kashmir, and. Uh, we have the PAGD, that is the People's Alliance for Gupkar Declaration, which is an amalgamation uh, composition of six parties, which are otherwise rivals, who have come together under one banner of PAGD. These include the Jammu and Kashmir National Conference Party, the People's Democratic Party, the People's Conference Party, and three other parties that have come together under the PAGD banner. These six parties uh, have consolidated their seats in Kashmir uh, in nine districts out of the ten districts. Well, in Jammu, they have got three districts of the Pirpinjal Valley and the Chenab Valley. Uh, to talk of the BJP, the BJP has won, has been successful in winning 30, 75 seats and is the single largest party with those seats. Uh, out of the, uh, this is all, all out of the 28, 280 seats that are demarcated for the District Development Council polls. Independent winners have been successful in winning 50 of the 280 seats. Now there is a concern for statehood and uh, the alliance has seen that the verdict in favor of them is a point that they want to make that they, they are concerned about statehood and also the people voting for them are concerned about statehood and they are against the reorganization of Jammu and Kashmir into two Indian territories and they are also against the revocation of its special constitution status on 5th August 2019. The Gupkar Alliance and Congress are likely to have chairmen in 12 out of the 13 districts out of 20 while the BJP is, going, is likely to have it in 5 or 6 districts. The independent winners, who are 50 in number, are may swing in favor of the BJP or, or the alliance. And we also need to know that this is the first electoral process after Jammu and Kashmir special status has been granted, a special status and has ended and it has been declared as union territory. Mm -hmm. And the alliance has pledged to fight for the uh, restoration of the special status. While these elections and polls are going on, there has been a misuse of state machinery. And for what has it been misused? There are moves in the valley that are based against the politicians who are in, involved and who, are, who have been involved in the Roshni landscape or the, who have been involved in the cricket scam case. And the enforcement, enforcement directorate has taken action against these involved in these two scams. At the same time, there has been an arrest of the PDP leader Wahid Ur Rahman Para after he filed for his nomination. So, which is a clear indication of misuse of the state machinery. It's rare, instead of rare, it has been typed as a race. So these are a rarest of the rare polls that have been held in Jammu and Kashmir, mainly for two reasons, because there it has been, it, it is a demonstration of restoration of democratic process in the state of Jammu, in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, at the same time, it is also rare because it is a electoral process in the past 30 years where militants outfits militant outfits and separatist groups did not buy, boycott these polls. Uh, to see the other side of it, we can say that the turnout has been low 
and it has uh, as low as less than 20 percent in some areas which is and it has been impacted by the locals joining militancy in south kashmir and it is a win situation for bjp because it has been successful in making inroads during the 2018 elections of panchayat and the urban bodies where it won three seats in srinagar bandipura and pulwama at the same time the bjp has made a tight grip in sambha udhampur jammu and kathua in the jammu region so it's actually a win-win situation for bjp and therefore also it is a rarest of the rare polls so we can conclude by saying that the district development council should be given more space to express its point at the same time uh, um, we can, the administration can also think of restoration of statehood to jammu and kashmir because that is what the alliance is claiming for and uh, the last is holding of assembly elections is vital in in this part of jammu and kashmir so that is all about the first article let's move on to the next article which is called murder in the convent uh, let's begin with the vocabulary that is used in this article the first is vikar v i c a r so it's not s it's r who is a vikar it's a noun a vikar is a person or is a priest in charge of a church it is a noun the second word is novitiate which is again a noun and it means an inexperienced person who is new into a job the next is modicum which is a noun which means a small quantity of something the next is unflinching which is an adjective which means not showing fear or hesitation of something and the last word is homicide which is a noun which means killing of one human being by another the spelling of homicide is h o m i c i d e there's an error there okay let's move on to the next slide introduction so what is this abhaya case and why uh, has it uh, why is it in news and who are the people who are involved in killing this teen age girl who was also a pre uh, degree student and an inmate in the hostel there so let's understand uh, about abhya in 1992 abhya was found dead in a well in the saint pius ex convent hostel she was a pre degree student and an inmate there she was found dead in a well and the supreme court has uh, no sorry i'm sorry the special cbi court has given a verdict uh, in tiruvananthapuram sentencing to life a former catholic vicar thomas kutur and nun sister sefi for murdering the 21 year old girl uh, abhya at a convent in kottayam and this also is an end to a long process so that is all about abhya let's see the investigation now there have been lots of turns and twists in this investigation uh, with the police involved and um, the police are accusing some section of the police with the cbi involved and there are claims that a certain section of the officials uh, have been involved in in uh, destructing the evidence so let's see the police and crime crime bank uh, branch initially uh, concluded that it is a case of suicide uh, and they have done this in a uh, hastily but people's action council uh, which is led by jomon putin pukal sought judicial intervention and saw and saw a special cbi look into this case in 1993 so the police Uh, and the crime branch decided to wrap up the case declaring it a case of homicide but judicial intervention by the people's action by people's action council did not allow this to happen at the same time the forensic report found homicide case but the cbi did not get evidence as police had already destroyed all the evidence um, at the site from 1996 and 2005 CBI approached the chief judicial magistrate and for uh, for closure of this case thrice but it has not been permitted first the CBI cite, cited that the investigation was inconclusive but was not allowed to close the case in the second case the CBI cited it is a case of murder and no evidence is there to track the culprits 
even then it was not allowed to close the case and in the third instance the cpi said it was helpless um, to take to take the case to a logical conclusion in spite of all these attempts the case was not allowed to come to a closure in 2007 father kutur and sister sefi and father jose subject have been subjected to macro analysis and arrested a year later by deputy superintendent of police nanda kumar nair the kerala high court saw gaping loopholes in the cbi's investigation and so also monitored monitored the case for a brief time uh, there are a lot of loopholes in this case and the ball is thrown from one court to court to the other and there is also a question whether abhya's forensic analysis reports and macro analysis were they tempered the cbi has named some um has named some cbi officers and police uh, who have actually destroyed uh, destructed the evidence and they they have not been um, booked because of lack of evidence the high court has refused uh, to accept people on the basis of macro analysis and it, this will not be considered as an evidence the petition of father put rukyal has been discharged during the trial eight out of the 49 witnesses turned hostile but it was a petty thief who had gone to the convent on the night of the murder who stood his ground and has supported in bringing the abhya click case to its conclusion let's have a look at the conclusion the entire abhya case has exposed the faultiness of the criminal system criminal justice system that is prevalent in in kerala and in the state of and in the country of india the church has issued ambivalent statements as convicts are planning to go to appeal that's the church's role and the cbi is also moving to court by challenge because it is challenging father putri putri kayal's discharge without a trial in spite of all this there is hope that the powerful and the influential cannot get away with murder they have to face the music in the form of the cbi and the just the law of the land thank you that is all for the editorial analysis of 24 december see you in the next session with a new editorial analysis thank you Thank you.